Hey, my name is Fraser and welcome to episode 8 of my Felt on Smasher adventure. Over the past year and a half, I've been experimenting with making music using light. I started off with just a solar cell and a couple of crocodile clips, and last month I had my first gig with my new ensemble. In this video, we're going to look at that journey and what I did along the way, where I started and where I'm headed next. Back in the summer of 2020, I'd started making some versions of the Photon Smasher, but they were aimed at more of an educational audience. And I was really keen to try and make something more for people like me, for professionals who want to use it in real world musical environments, be that performance or field recording. As I progressed through the project, I started to get more excited by the music that this thing was making. I did this amazing collaboration with Lula York, where we used her Euro rack hooked up to a laser to create some incredible like feedback loops, an incredible snapshot of what was possible when I put this instrument in the hands of other people than just myself. It was really, really responsive to the sound waves that it was picking up um, through light, which is completely bonkers and <laughs> very exciting. I always knew that this instrument had potential and if anything one of the problems was there were so many options of things that I wanted to explore not just performance but also installation. I was really grateful to be approached by the art station in Sax Munden where myself and my longtime collaborator Simon Keep made an installation using the Photon Smasher. I'd never made a piece of work like this before and it was really cool to see what was possible using a couple of guitar pedals, a children's solar system toy and the photon smasher and left me with loads of ideas as to what we could do next if we were exploring using sound and light and movement in an installation setting. Whilst all of that was happening, I was also putting together an ensemble in the background. Throughout 2021, I met up with Sam Hollis and Ben Hunt, who became the backline of my ensemble. Together we rehearsed here in my studio, I just about managed to fit them in here and started working together. You might have seen a video I did back in November 2021 where we had an R&D day at Colchester Arts Centre exploring what might be possible if we were using the lighting rig as an instrument rather than my own small bicycle lights. <laughs> Something that's been in the back of my mind is how I communicate to the audience what's going on without it turning into a science lesson. And the smoke machine did that in a fascinating way because now the sound is taking up physical space. What before was a small bicycle light or a hot tub light that I was positioning on a table is now a physical big shaft of light with a beautiful colour that's taking up massive space and filling the room with sound as well as with light. It makes the performance incredibly dynamic and it creates this beautiful synchronisation between light and sound that you can see from no matter where you are in the audience, you don't have to worry about being able to see the table that I'm using to see the lights that I'm holding because you can just see this huge column of light. All of this really led up to February 2022 where we had a headline gig at Colchester Arts Centre, bringing together all the things that I'd learned over the past year and obviously continuing to try out new things. The opening track started with this really ethereal soundscape where I wanted to show the audience some of the magic of making sound from light.
And then it developed into this like mad kraut rock inspired big crash bang ending <laughs> where I kind of lost control a little bit, kind of let go quite a bit and really started to go for it. And that was really, really cool. I really enjoyed that. That as a feeling is something I really want to recreate going forwards because that felt awesome. We also wanted to try out using the lighting rig as an instrument as we did back in November. So for our gig we collaborated with Katie who was on the lighting desk that night to put together this composition and I'm really happy with how we got these like big structural columns of light and it just feels like the start of something really exciting especially if I can bring that control over those lights on stage and I can play it like a musical instrument. And that for me feels like a massive opportunity of something I want to explore more going forwards. How can I literally play the lighting rig as an instrument? Interestingly, the track that we ended with, I think might have been my favorite. I was using my beloved Circuit Bend SK-1 and it's got this beautiful sampler built into it. And I sampled this little music box to create this really lovely, uh, bit crushed, uh, melodic, slowed down loop. Ben and Sam are fantastic improvisers and with me creating this sort of melodic sound bed they improvised on top and that morphed into this really slow moving ethereal swells which was just yeah really really beautiful. After the gig, I had a bit of a creative come down. I really wasn't sure what to do next. And having spent so long working towards something that ultimately is unfinished because it's the start of a process, it felt strange. It felt like I wanted to do it again and get everything right. But you know, that's, that's part of the creative process. This isn't the end. There will be more gigs. There'll be plenty more opportunities to iterate on what we've done and to improve. And that's what I've got to focus on. It's not about the one or two things that didn't go perfect or didn't quite work. It's about all the little moments that did work. Those are the ones that are gonna feed that next iterative stage of the composition too. So what is next? I'm doing a piece of work for Focal Point Gallery down in South End, where I'm making a soundscape of some electromagnetic sounds from along the coastline. A couple of weekends ago, I went down to the Light Festival in South End and I got some pretty cool footage, so let me give you a preview of some of the amazing stuff that I've got to work with when I'm creating this soundscape. <laughs> Hopefully you all agree that that's a pretty good place to start from. And it also like filled me with so many ideas of like how I could use this footage live as well. What if this was projected behind the band whilst we were playing along, you know, and you were seeing people walking past with their fish and chips or their ice cream whilst we're like 
rocking out over the top like that's definitely something i want to try that's cool speaking of the band something i'm super proud of and really excited to share is that i've been selected for a residency at snake maltings which is part of britain peers arts i'm developing some new technology to take with me there as well let me show you here is a uh, a pedal that i'm building that's going to be a little bit like the tremolo pedal that I use at the gig where I use one light to gate another one except here I'm going to have this light which is a ring of LEDs inside a 3D printed uh, ring. I'm going to have this controlled by a modulation, an expression pedal so I can change the speed with my foot which is way easier. I've also got some other ideas around a synthesizer where I'm going to have keyboard control over flashing lights and I've got this vision of some kind of like Dr. Octavia octopus arms coming out of this little shell on like gooseneck arms that you can sort of bend around to create these weird look, alien looking like triffid sculptures <laughs> that flash as you play the keyboard. I need to learn a bit more before I do that but the idea is there. So, so make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see some of these creations and the journey along the way because I don't plan to stop these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.